Hello everyone, in the last two videos, I have asked you guys to give me some new video ideas. Alexander and JSVN8180 left a comment telling me that they want to see the Moray Thread Counter. You asked, and here it is. Welcome to my demonstration of IYPT 2019 problem number 13, Moray Thread Counter. When we have two patterns made out of non-intersecting lines and when they are placed over each other, moray fringes can be observed. This is a phenomenon often observed in digital cameras, and it is truly frustrating for many photographers and videographers. The fine pattern might cause moray in this video itself, so don't be alarmed, and we'll start with the materials that we will need. You will need two types of paper, normal printing paper, and also transparent projector paper. You will also need a computer and a printer in order to design and print out the patterns. My first design consists of line patterns of a wide range of thread counts, from 2 threads per inch to 60 threads per inch. If you're watching this video in a low resolution, you might already begin to see some more A patterns. For this pattern, the black lines and transparent gaps are spaced evenly, and we repeat the pattern until each thread count reaches 1 inch. Please don't get mad at me for measuring the thread count in inches because in Canada, our paper sizes follow the US standards and using the inch actually makes our calculation a lot easier to perform. Taking a look at this example, we see that when we print the same pattern on white paper and also transparent paper, and we rotate it so that the two are at a slight angle, you can quickly see the moray pattern start to develop. And if we move the pages side to side, we see that the moray pattern appears to be moving up and down. And if we move the page up and down, the moray pattern appears to move from left to right. In order to test the effect of our moray thread counter, I have made three testing patterns. One with 50 threads per inch, one with 60 threads per inch, and one with 70 threads per inch. The printing process is the most important part of this whole experiment. In order to get a good pattern, you must set your printer to the highest resolution. My printer is capable of printing in 1200 DOS per inch, so I set it to that, and we can examine the result. I will be using this small magnifying glass with a scale attached at the bottom. When I look through the magnifying glass, I can see that the lines are nice and even, and the edges are very clean. This will give us the best result for our moray patterns. Because the printer is inherently discreet, if you want to print out a thread count that is very fine, and your thread count happens to be a prime number, that might cause some problems in the printing process. The physics of the moray pattern is very much similar to that of waves. As we know, waves could interfere, and so do the moray patterns. When we place two of the same pattern next to each other, and offset them at a small angle, we see that the moray pattern appears. This is similar to the beating effect of sound, when we have sounds of two different frequencies. So now let me show you the counter that I made. The counter has a range from 44 to 82 threads per inch. And each section is in an increment of 2 threads per inch. When I overlay the counter on top of a pattern, we see that a lot of moray fringes begin to appear. And as I rotate it slightly, we could see that on either side of the targeted thread count, the moray pattern points to a different direction. On the targeted thread count, we see that the moray patterns are very flat, whereas on the either side, it points towards the targeted thread count. And when we rotate it slightly, we could see a clear convex or concave shape begin to appear. If you make your thread counter continuous instead of discrete, you could see that the thread count could be measured very accurately. Here I am showing you my measurement for 50 threads per inch and 70 threads per inch but I will provide you the PDF file for the thread counter and 60 threads per inch, so you can check it out yourself. Thank you so much for watching the video, and if you have any suggestions for what I should be doing next, please leave all of that in the comments below. Also make sure that you're subscribed to our channel so that you don't miss out on any future videos. That's it for this week, and bye!